What's going on there guys? It is the Earthmaster here with an update video on this uh, Wednesday evening, November 17th, 2021 to date, about 7.50 p.m. California time. Uh, got an earthquake striking out there around the New Madrid area. A 4.0 earthquake shaking things up in this area of the North American continent. Let's go ahead and check out some specifics of what's going on out there in the uh, New Madrid area. And there you can see that red circle. On the map, I believe this originally came in at a 3.8. It has been updated, upgraded to a 4.0 earthquake near Williamsville, Missouri. Now this area right here is right at the edge of the New Madrid area. I'll show you guys the seismic hazard map. U.S. hazard map shows the New Madrid uh, fault system here in the red just outside of that uh, extreme area of the, of the um, hazard zone is where that 4.0 struck within the last hour. 16 kilometers below the surface for this 4.0. Now it's a pretty good size earthquake out there. We haven't seen the size of an earthquake in this region uh, in quite some time. Now this new Madrid area, very capable of producing some up, upper seven uh, to lower eight magnitude earthquakes. Of course, back in the 1800s, they had a series of large earthquakes strike this region. So a lot of people think California, the West Coast, is the only area that gets those large earthquakes. Well, that's not the case. This area is very prone to some large scale movement uh, and it has happened in the past and no doubt it will happen again. But for now, only a 4.0 near Williamsville, Missouri, 16.9 kilometers. Let's check out the Did You Feel It reports. You can see throughout the area, of course, it seems as though, well, actually, it shouldn't it shouldn't say seem, east of the Rockies, earthquakes, even of this magnitude and smaller, are felt over a broader area than, say, for example, the West Coast, due to the type of, uh, well, the type of sediment and soil and, and the, the rock structure. All this stuff plays into part of how far uh, people are able to fill uh, an earthquake of this size and uh, you can see it was felt pretty broadly over the region uh, and some reports around the epicenter of some strong shaking see some of these reports here moderate to strong shaking some of the yellow greenish yellow uh, yellow colors in the box there let's check out the uh did you feel it responses from the folks in the area of course williamsville popular uh, popular bluff missouri uh, a lot of folks here from that area of Missouri reported it, um, and there's no doubt uh, Tennessee region. Let's go ahead and see what else, uh, where else is reported at Arkansas, Missouri. whole bunch of folks there reported filling this earthquake. So the map there itself, uh, I think that explains everything as far as the... Uh, um, far as the uh, reports being shot in there to the USGS uh, Did You Fill It report page. Here's another little map shows the uh, kind of like the intensity region stretching over here to parts of Tennessee. Um, down here it looks like into the Arkansas region and of course all up through Missouri and it looks like part of Illinois. Um, if you are out here in this area, this is a very highly populated region. Of course this, this area... Uh, not going to do good with a upper 7 to 8.0 magnitude earthquake when it does happen. I don't think those folks out there are prepared for something like that. But if you are out there, I would like to know what it felt like. Did it, did it seem like a jolt? Was it a rolling motion? Maybe how long did the earthquake last? What Did it shake anything in your house? Um, please report that in the comment section below. That way... Um, I can kind of put a little report together myself. Of course, the US, USGS analyzes things uh, differently, but I kind of like to take into account uh, people's personal uh, experiences as well. So feel free to write in the comment section below what you felt, uh, if you did feel it, and your location, of course. So that's the uh, 2.5 and above map. Let's go ahead and check out the all magnitudes, see if there's any type of aftershock sequences here, and there is none at the moment. I may pull up, uh, since we're getting cooking out here around the New Madrid area, I may pull up a seismograph station within this vicinity. It's just been, you know, it's, it's something that maybe pe people don't think about. Well, we've got to watch California, or maybe we've got to watch the Cascadia subduction zone. But I think we're so compacted and locked out here right now, 
we're seeing a major increase in activity in some of the areas such as Texas, uh, Kansas, Oklahoma region. A lot of these areas showing movement inland into the North American continent uh, and also specifically in Southern California. Uh, a swarm of earthquake activity kicking up here along the west coast. Also around the uh, Calaveras Fault System in Northern California. That's this fault structure here. Uh, south of Walnut Creek, California, Bay Area, highly populated region. Seeing a uh, 3.8 or 3.9. It looks like they upgraded it. I believe that was uh, upgraded to 4.2, downgraded to 3.8, now 3.9. They're just all over the place. Either way, some activity ramping up there along the West Coast. But uh, what's kind of got me a little eerie and, and worried is the lack of activity up here in the Pacific Northwest. Things went from being active, very active for weeks to completely quiet with a lot of movement and activity shifting south and eastward inland around the uh, New Madrid area for one. Uh, just something to watch pretty closely here, folks, as things are getting a little on the crazy side when it comes to seismic activity. Also, within the last hour, a 4.2 near Sandpoint, Alaska, 28 kilometers. Some further movement into Hawaii as well. Looks like the southeast region getting in on uh, quite a good cluster of earthquakes. Uh, so we're watching that uh, pretty closely um, for some further movement. Uh, looks like uh, things really ramping up in two separate locations here on the big island of Hawaii. Quite a few threes and twos kicking off in that region of the world. Uh, looking at the Fiji Islands area, some further deep movement, a little bit of movement over here west of Japan. Uh, in the China area, 10 point, or 10.0, uh, yeah. 5.0 at 10 kilometers below surface for that earthquake. Puerto Rico getting in on some activity as well, but we're also watching some uh, major deep movement into the South America region. A 5.5, look at that depth right there, 569 kilometers into the Peru-Chile Trench, a major subduction zone here when it comes to producing some significant earthquakes. Uh, with this deep movement, I would expect here pretty soon uh, for some surface adjustment. Uh, how big is, remains to be seen, but this area right here uh, is capable of producing uh, some very strong mega quakes. In fact, the strongest earthquake ever recorded down there in Chile. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. I do want to show you guys the Yellowstone map, see if that picked up the four-pointer uh, in the Missouri area, around the New Madrid area. Looks as though uh, I, I barely see it on some of these stations here. You can just barely see it on Parker Peak way down here in the south. Hold on one second here. This area right here. Of course, Yellowstone a distance away from the New Madrid area, but a 4.0, very capable of showing up on seismograph stations at a considerable distance. Uh, looking at the Trimmer map in the Pacific Northwest, only 69 epicenters into the Southern Oregon range along the coast range here of uh, Trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there again. Let me know if you felt that uh, earthquake out there around the New Madrid area. Kind of curious to see uh, what, your, um, um, what your experience is. Have a good night, folks. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.